It's night time. So the first TV show I'm gonna recommend to you guys is on my blog. And if you haven't heard about this show, then literally where have you been? This TV show is literally amazing. But it's basically about four teens. One of them is in a family gang, and those three friends try to help them get out of that gang. They get into more trouble than they're supposed to, and now they gotta solve a bunch of mysteries. Number two is All American. It's basically about a young high school football player whose dreams are to go to the NFL. And then in order for him to do that, he goes to Beverly Hills because the coach there sees potential in him and but along the way he deals with a lot of issues such as like family stuff, poverty and a lot of gangs because his community where he comes from has a lot of gang affiliated areas and it's just not good. Number three on my list is Too Hot to Handle and it's about 10 hot singles who are going to a luxurious place to develop relationships with other people and they are not allowed to touch each other inappropriately. It's so that they have real connections and they're actually connecting with the individual that they are very interested in and if they break a rule then there are consequences and you have to find out what those consequences are. Number four on my list is Tiger King and I'm pretty sure you have all heard about this and it's basically it's a true crime story of a man who died because his wife decided to beat up tigers. Yeah, and it's also a TikTok about it. Carol Baskin. Number five on my list is The Originals, and basically vampires slash werewolf Klaus Michelson and his siblings, who are the first original vampires to ever exist, all return back to the hometown New Orleans to investigate a plot against Klaus because they're trying to figure out who's starting up the drama, and they're trying to figure out what's going down. So. So number six on my list is Money Heist, and basically a criminal mastermind who goes by the name Professor, he recruits eight people to rob the Bank of Spain because he plans to pull up the biggest heist in history. Number seven on my list is Self Made, and it's based on a true story of an African American entrepreneur. She was the first self made millionaire ever to exist because she built a hair care empire. The TV show is so inspiring. I really advise you guys to watch this one. So number eight on my list is Black Lightning, and it's a guy who was the principal of a high school, and everyone goes to the school because it is a safe haven and a safe place for everyone to go to because the neighborhood is overrun by gangs and it's just very violent and dangerous. But it turns out this principal got superpowers, aka electric abilities, but so does his two daughters, but not the same superpowers. You're gonna have to watch and find out to find out what they are. So the number nine on my list is Good Girls. It's about three mothers who are having financial problems, so they team up together to rob their local supermarket. They're going to get into more trouble, into more deeper stuff than they all honestly wanted to be in. So number 10 is Vampire Diaries. So I'm just gonna read this off because my description for it is very long. So this girl, Elena Gilbert, goes to Mystic Falls High School, then she meets this mysterious new guy named Stefan Salvatore. They fall in love, and he hopes she doesn't find out his new secret that he is a vampire. So number 11 is The Flash, and it's basically about a guy that got struck by lightning. He falls into a coma for nine months, but then he wakes up with some super fast abilities, so. It's actually really good. I recommend it, so go watch it. Number 12 on my list is Outer Banks, and basically it's about a group of teens who are on an island, and one of the guys enlists his friends to join him on discovering a piece of treasure that could link as to why his father disappeared. So number 13 on my list is cheer and it's about athletes who really love cheerleading and they've done it their entire lives and without it they just would not be the same individual as they are today. And Monica who is the head coach of the Navarro cheer team, she coaches them and she wants to become the biggest cheer program in the state. Number 14 on my list is the 100. So starting 97 years after a nuclear war destroys civilization, there's a spaceship in space housing a whole society up there. In order to test if Earth is survivable again, they are going to send 100 delinquent teens down to Earth to test if the Earth is survivable and sustainable. And it's a lot of drama, so you should go check it out. Number 15 on my list is the Elites. It's about three working class teens who enroll at this other private school along with some other rich teens. However, those three working class teens do not get along with the rich teens so there's this really bad conflict and um, it results in one of them being killed and it starts up a lot of drama. I don't know anywhere else about this because I have not watched it myself but it sounds very intriguing and I hope I intrigued you. So number 14 is Murder Mystery. So this is a movie and my description for this is very long so I'm going to just read it. So basically, it's a New York cop and his wife. They go on a European vacation to spark some romance and some excitement in their marriage. But during a dinner on a rich family yacht, 
The father of five determines which child will inherit the money, but he also has a wife on the side, and she could also probably get the money, and the kids don't want her to get the money because she's not family. She's basically like the stepmom. But before he picks who gets the money, he was killed because I think the money was going to go up to the wife, but the kids obviously didn't like that, but you have to watch in order to figure out which child was responsible for his death. 